Uh, today, I'm going to teach you guys what to do if your 4K movie is over 20 gigs in size. Because remember, YouTube only allows 20 gigs uh, to be uploaded. How, how do you get the file to be smaller, but still a 4K video and without losing too much of the quality? Let me just open my project on Final Cut Pro. All right. I have made this flight video. It's about 10 minutes long and it's all uh, all shot in 4k my sequence settings over here they are set to 4k this is a locked cut I'm not changing anything so I can actually lock everything because I'm not making one frame change in this I'm gonna file I'm gonna export this using quick time conversion and I'm going to say quick time options settings Apple ProRes 422HU because that's the codec I'm working with at 25 frames a second and I'm going to say OK. You don't need to render to export. It will render as it exports but without rendering it will take a long long time. Say OK and I'm going to say and I'm going to just put it on my desktop and I'm going to say save. This could take a while. Okay, now that it's done, I'm going to hide Final Cut Pro and I'm going to go open here and see what I have created. Exports and flight video 4K Apple Pro Res. Takes a while to open. Show Movie Inspector, Apple Pro Res, 4K 3840 by 2160 and data size 53.64 gigs and the data rate 680 megs a second. 50 gigs is just way, way too big to go on YouTube. So how do we get this great quality video to come down a bit without losing too much of the quality? We're going to have to use a software called Compressor. Let's open Compressor and let's add a video file. Now, instead of going back to 920 by 1080p, instead of doing that, well, I'm going to change the data bitrate. What is data bitrate? It is the video bitrate is the number of bits that are processed in a unit of time. So I remember that one byte consists of eight bits. So video data rates are given in bits per second. And say video sharing services and say 4K. And let's click on the settings here. And I'm going to go to, and I'm going to say video. Uh, frame size. I'm just going to chain, change it to what my frame size is that I filmed it. Frame rate, I'm not going to change. I'm going to say quick time settings, H264. I'm going to change this. Change the data bit rate to 50,000 kilobytes per second. And I'm going to say start batch. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to see how big the file is now. Flights, Qatar Airways. Thank you. And there we go. H264, 3840 by 1260. And as I can see, this file size is only 4 gigs and the data bitrate is 50 megs a second. Now let's check the quality of the video. Let's, that's pretty good. Let's compare it to the original. Alright, I've got my original, I've got the original Apple ProRes export here and the export from compressor here. Let's match, try and match the frames up here. In terms of quality, I mean, it looks pretty good. This is the compressed version, and that's the original version. The compressed quality actually looks fine. It's a bit darker, but it actually looks all right. And let me just play the original here. And let's look at the compressed version. I can really I can really spot a difference. This is a good quality and I'm ready to upload it on YouTube. Now remember YouTube accepts a maximum file size of 20 uh, gigs and this is only 4 gigs. So I could put more data data rate uh, bit rate if I wanted to, but I'm quite happy with this. But for those of you who don't have compressor, then you you can use Impex Stream Clip. Impex Stream Clip is a free software, so you don't have to pay to download it. And the simple all you have to do is go File, Export to QuickTime, 
uh, frame rate 25, depending what your frame rate is. Deselect this, unscaled, keep the quality full, change the codec to H.264, and limit your data rate to 50,000 kilobits. And it's going to be about 3.7 gigs, about the same size as what we got on compressor. So you can use MPEG Stream Clip as well. I'm ready to upload this video to YouTube. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe for more. Thank you.